Hey Fingsters, Shubham here. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to read a file line by line and then store each line as an element into a list. So what do I mean by that? Let me explain that to you. So as you can see on the screen, I have created a file by the name test.txt. Now it contains a few names. Now these are some well-known personalities and you might be knowing some of them. These are some of the richest men and well-known men in the world. So I purposely selected their names so that, you know, I can make the example pretty attractive to look at. Uh, so let's get back to work. Uh, now we want to read the file one line at a time. So what does that mean? Like the first line first, then the second and so on. And then we want to store each line as an element in a list that is in this case each name will be stored in the list as a element so just to give you an idea you can have a look on the output screen we have all the names stored in a list one by one so jeff bezos is the first element in the list bill gates is the second element and so on so without further delay let us dive into the solutions and see how we can do this. So let us clear our output screen and let's get started with the program. So the first method that we are going to use is the read line method and the strip method. So I hope you have heard about the read lines method since uh, this is not a beginner topic in terms of reading files. I considered that you already know how to read a file, how to close a file and the other such basic prerequisites. So the read lines method is a built in method in Python, which is used to read a file line by line and then store each line in a list. And what does the strip method do? It removes leading and trailing white spaces which can be new line characters or uh, a tab or a tabular character and so on. So let us see how we can use these functions and get to a solution. So I'll first open the file with open and then the name of our file is test.txt as f. So f denotes or represents our file now. Now we have a variable by the name content and then we use F to read the lines from the file. Now inside content, we have each line of the file stored as an element in a list. So just to give you an idea, let me show that to you. I'm printing out the variable content and let's check. So as you can see that we have indeed stored each element or each line as an element in the list. However, now you might want to get rid of the new line character. So now comes in the usage of the strip method. So all we need to do now is use the strip method and eliminate the new line character from each element of the list. So for that, I'm creating another variable li and then li is a list within which I have another variable x and then I use the strip function on the variable x and now we get to know y for x in content. So what I'm typically doing here is I'm iterating over each element in the list using the for loop. And then I'm stripping out the new line character one by one from each element. Now let's check. Oh, before checking that we have to print out li because li is the output that we want or it stores the output that we want. Now let's check. And as you can see, we have the expected output. Okay. So that brings us to the next solution or the next method to solve our problem. In this method, we are going to use a function known as rstrip. So what does rstrip do? 
rstrip is a built-in function in python which removes all white spaces on the right of the string or the trailing white spaces to the right of the string. Thus, we can use it to strip or separate elements out of each line and then store them in a list. So let us quickly have a look how we can do that. So we already have our file opened. Now let's use a different variable. Maybe I'll name it lines. And now I'll make sure that lines is a list and within it, I'll use line dot R strip. That's it. Now all I need to do is specify what line does. So for line in F. So what this does is it iterates through each line of the file, strips out the white spaces and then stores it in the variable lines. Now all we need to do is simply print out lines. So print lines. And now let's check if this works. Before that, let me clear out the output screen. Okay, we are ready to go now. Let's run our program. And there we go. We again have our solution. So I hope this method was clear to you as well. Now let's quickly move on to the next method. In the next method, we are again going to use a for loop and the strip method, but in a different way now. So let's jump into the solution. So we have our file opened already. Now let's create a variable by the name lines as we did previously, but this time it's an empty list as of now. Now we shall be defining our for loop for line in file or maybe lines, this should be lines. So this for loop is used to iterate over each line in the file, as you have seen in the previous cases as well. So now let's append each element or each line as an element to the list. So how can we do that? Simply use the append function. And then within the append function, we also need to use the strip function so that we can ensure that the new line characters are removed. And that's it. Now we simply print lines. So let's check if this works. No, it doesn't. Can you tell me why? Of course, because I made a grave mistake. See, this shouldn't be lines. I'm iterating over each line in the file. So I should not be iterating over an empty list. I should be iterating over the file. So this should be for line in F, which represents our file. And now I also have an error here in the indentation. And I hope this should work for us now. So let's check this out. And there we go. We have our solution. So I hope this method was clear to you as well. Now let's discuss another method. Now, instead of using any loop, we are going to use an inbuilt method in Python known as split lines. So split lines is an inbuilt method in Python, which is used to split a string breaking at line boundaries. So what that means is each line will be stored in a list. And whenever we have a line break, the new element or the new line will be considered as the next element to be stored in the list. So let's have a look at that in action. We have our file opened. Now let's remove this part out because we don't need it. And then let's create a variable. I'll name it data. And I'll use a variable by the name in file. And then I'll read the file. In order to read the file, I need to make a little change here. So I need to provide the read mode within the open function. 
so i hope you are clear about read modes or the modes of opening a file if not please let me know i'll make a different video on that however let's focus on our topic in this video so i open my file in the read mode and now i'll read each line of the file or each content of the file and store it in a variable by the name data i forgot to change it as well in file so our file is represented by the name in file now that we are done reading the contents of the file let's use the split lines method so i have a variable li which stores the output and then we have data which holds the contents of the file and then we use our split lines method so that's it and now all we need to do is print the output let me clear out the output screen okay now let's check and as you can see we have the desired output we will now be using an external library known as pathlib and then use the split lines method on it so pathlib was introduced in python 3.4 so if you are using any version before python 3.4 this method won't work for you and this is a very handy method because it contains or the pathlib library contains a method known as the read text method which is a very nice and effective way to read files without having to worry about opening or closing a file so if you are acquainted with file handling you might be knowing that it is very important to not just work on a file but you should be very thorough with opening it and you must remember that once the work is done you should close it as well but with the use of the pathlib library we do not have to worry about such issues so let's have a look how we can use this external library so import pathlib or maybe from pathlib i want to import path now we do not need to follow the procedure of opening or closing the file as i mentioned before so let us simply create a variable p and then make use of the path function which resides within the pathlib library and then we specify the name of our file then we again have a variable by the name lines and now we are going to make use of the function read text read text so we are done reading the contents of the file now we will use the split lines method in order to get rid of the line boundaries and then store each element in the list that's it all we need to do now is print lines so what we did here was we have our file and this time we do not read the file using read lines or the read method we simply use the path function of the pathlib library and then we use another function known as read text which helps us to read the contents of the file and then we use the split lines method to store each line within the file as an element in a list so let's clear out the output screen and now let's check if this works for us and as you can see this worked so by now we you have already seen five methods of solving our problem but before wrapping up this video i would like to show you another method or something that we have already done but now we'll solve our problem in a single line so you can consider this as a python one liner so whenever i speak about one liner the list comprehension is the first topic or the first point that always comes up in my mind so i'm going to use a list comprehension again to solve my problem in a single line 
So if you do not know what a list comprehension is, let me just give you a small recap. List comprehensions are a compact way of creating lists. So you'll basically have an expression and a context part within list comprehension. So that might not be clear to you. So instead of blabbering theory, let me guide you with the example or the direct solution. So all I need to do is use a single line. We have our print statement. Now we will be defining our list comprehension. So we have a variable by the name line. Then we use our strip function as usual so that we can get rid of the new line characters. Then we have the expression or the iterator within the list comprehension. So for line in open. So we are using the open function directly within the list comprehension to open our file line in open test dot txt. That's it. That's a single line solution for you. Let me clear out the screen. And now let's check if this works. And as you can see, that was pretty easy. Now that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. And I hope you found it useful and learned something out of it. Please give it a like and subscribe our channel if you love these videos or you learned something out of them. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Goodbye for the day.